Welcome to the Kinfire Chronicles Knight's Fall demo on Tabletopia. Here you'll be able to play the first two quests of the game, as well as try your hand at exploring the town. This demo has been specifically designed for Tabletopia, and we have an additional rulebook labeled Start Here to help you through the digital experience. This video serves as an overview of the game mechanics as experienced digitally. It is not a full walkthrough of Tabletopia or Kinfire Chronicles Knight's Fall. Be sure to read the rulebooks included in the game for a more detailed explanation. Now let's get started with some Tabletopia basics. If you've never used Tabletopia before, you'll need to create a free account. From there, you can find Kinfire Chronicles by searching for it or following the link on our website. You can play solo, in a hot seat, meaning multiple people at the same desktop, or online with any of your friends around the world. For play online, create a number of seats equal to the number of players you want and send them the link up top. When you're all ready, click start and the game will load. Here's a quick tutorial on how the mechanics of Tabletopia work for any first time users. If you'd prefer to skip this chapter of the video, you can always click on the question mark icon in the bottom left corner and you'll see everything you need and then some. Let's start with the camera controls. Left click and hold to move the camera laterally. Right click and hold to change the camera degree. You'll see that depending on the angle of the camera, the seeker and enemy standees go from full standees to icons if you wanted a top down view. Use the scroll wheel on your mouse to zoom in or out, or you can use the plus and minus keys. If you want to save a specific camera angle for later, press shift and then a number, and then you can press that number whenever you want to return to that shot. We recommend saving angles for the battle map, the enemy sheets, your character sheet, and the destiny bag. For the most part, you'll be left clicking and dragging cards, tokens, and standees around the board. To flip an item over, press F. If you want to make something bigger, double click on it. There's a lot to click on and read, so don't be afraid to go wild. To put a card into your hand, you can drag it to the bottom of your screen until you see a blue line, or you can hover over the card and press T for take. If you want to draw more than one card into your hand, right click on the deck and select draw, then the number of cards you want. To put a card on top of a pile, hover over it until you see an orange outline on the deck. To grab an entire deck, click shift and then click on the deck. Don't hold shift down, it doesn't work as well. To shuffle the deck, right click on the deck and select shuffle. You likely won't need to rotate anything in Kinfire Chronicles, but if you do, you can use the Q and E keys. To put something into a game bag, hover over the bag until you see it open, then you can release. Unfortunately, there's no way to search inside the bag, so if you need to pull something specific out, you'll need to keep pulling until you find it. The good news is all the bags are automatically randomized, so no need to shuffle them. The Start Here section will walk you through everything you need to know, but here are the overall basics. Begin your adventure by grabbing the quest folio you're going to play. If you're watching this, it's most likely going to be quest one, and pressing F to flip it over. The game will tell you what to do and which cards to grab, so find them in the pile and flip them over to read them. We recommend leaving a space above the map for the quest folio, the story cards, and the enemy health sheets. The first quest's combat is already set up for you, but for later quests, you'll pull all the enemy sheets and standees out of the quest bag, set up their health markers, and place the enemy numbers on each sheet according to the battle setup card. To adjust a health tracker, right click and add or subtract accordingly. When adventuring, you'll be prompted to flip cards over from your deck. You can drag a card to your discard pile and it will automatically flip over for you. If you wanna see all the cards in your discard pile, just drag the cards out. To put them back in a pile, be sure to hover until you see the orange outline. When it's time to clean up a quest, just drag everything to the accompanying quest bag and dump it in there. Don't get rid of the enemy numbers, but everything else can go. To get to the next map in the story, right click and unlock the map, then drag it to the quest bag to remove it from the board. The next map you'll need will be underneath. Later in the game, you'll have the choice to visit multiple places in the town of Vina. Once you've chosen a location, find the cards that match the number of the location on the map, and you'll be able to see what's there. You'll also be able to do some shopping and maybe receive some memories. Everything is laid out for you for easy access. We hope you enjoyed the Kinfire Chronicles Night's Fall demo on Tabletopia. If you have any further questions, leave a comment down below. Happy adventuring!